Hello fellow photographers, Dan from On One here. I'm back with another sneak peek of PhotoRock 2025.1. This is a free update if you own PhotoRock 2025, but we keep packing in new features for you. Today I want to show you the new automatic stacking feature. This is super handy if you do time-lapse brackets, HDR brackets, pano brackets, focus stacking, you shoot uh, sports or action wildlife, or even if you're a portrait wedding photographer and you shoot a lot of similar shots at the same time, this will help you find and group those together for you automatically. It cleans up your folders and it makes your culling a lot faster. So here in this example, I've got several different HDR brackets, three different ones shot at different times. What I want to do is have them automatically stack those brackets together. So I'm just going to select all of these guys. I'll right click and then from the stacks menu, I'll select automatic stacking. Now, when you stack, you can stack based on visual similarity, basically how much the shots look the same, or the time between stacks, or a combination of both. If I'm stacking HDR brackets, I'm going to set the visual similarity to off because they don't look that same because they're lighter and darker from each other. And I'll set the time between shots to something like one minute. That works out pretty well. So you can see here, it's automatically found those three brackets and it's grouped them together. Six shots in this one, three shots in this one, and six shots in this one. And if I hit the stack button, it's going to save those as stacks and I can open and close those stacks just like if I had created them manually. Now this is also the really handy tool, like I mentioned, for portrait wedding photographers, because a lot of times you'll shoot very similar shots together and you want to be able to pick the best in a group. So let's go to a folder from a high school senior. Here we have almost a couple hundred photos in this folder and you can see a lot of them are in similar groups. Well, we can use the auto stacking to put those different groups together. So I'm just going to, again, select all the photos in my folder, right click, go to the stacking option and select automatic stacking. Now from here, I can control how I want to create those stacks. Again, I can create them based on time or visual similarity or a combination of both. And I can preview what those stacks are going to look like here in the background. It'll show you how those are going to stack together. I oftentimes find that for shooting people, I like the visual similarity set to one and then the time set to one minute. So this is going to create 28 stacks. There's going to be 119 photos that aren't stacked. Those are ones that aren't similar enough to each other to be able to go into the same groups. You control how precise it's going to be and how big of a time difference you want. When I'm ready, I just hit the stack button. Now, all those ones that are very similar are stacked together. So you can see these two photos were highly similar to each other. Or here on the chair, two very highly similar photos to each other. And now I can use something like Compare View. I can select both, go into Compare View, and see them side by side, zoom in, and pick my favorite within the stack, and promote it to the top of the stack. It's a great way to speed up your culling process by helping you find similar photos and picking the best one. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching.